How are you? I'm okay. How are you? Um, looking forward to the hangover I'll probably have. Really? Hmm. Unexpected night on the tops. Ooh. What else we go for? Unexpected. Yeah. So I'm a camera down. Why am I a camera down? Now it wants to play. There it is. There it is. I need to move your bases out of the way. <laughs> Just sent a big packet of them to Ross. So we're going to rebase the demo armies when I arrive. Hopefully they get there before you do. Hopefully. Well, they said three weeks. So adding um, a bit of padding to that, um, I've allowed double. So. <laughs> Pretty reasonable considering. <laughs> yeah. Right. Here we go. And they're off. Yeah, I wondered what that smell was. Yeah. Thought it might have just been me. Um, we might run into trouble this morning. How's that? In so far as there is a contractor arriving shortly to dig out the top layers of the driveway so we can lay some gravel and um, stop the mud. Uh, and he's going to be operating very close to where I am, four or five metres away. So... It may be that uh, this whole thing gets drowned out by noise, in which case I think we just succumb and regroup later. Well, that's pretty reasonable. Uh, um, These things can't be helped. They, well, yeah, the, the timing of them is subject to his availability, and apparently he's available 8 o'clock this morning, which is now, so... It's not here yet, but I imagine he's not too far away. Um, it's basically a bobcat with rippers on the back, I think. Yeah, we'll see. Um, so I've got uh, two metres of gravel to move this afternoon once Ooh. that arrives. Oh, I'm looking forward to not being in that position. Mm hmm. Well, I in the position you're looking forward to being in is somewhat prone. Well, yeah, a little bit. I'll probably end up digging up some garden mm. this afternoon, but yeah. Uh, see how you go. Yeah, I might just crawl back to, into bed for an hour or five before that. <laughs> you need some uh, rampant hydration. Well, yeah, I'm halfway through this 1.25 litre bottle. I filled up with water. At least it's uh, water. Not that long ago. Right. <laughs> you haven't done the daft thing like I have, which is gone straight for the caffeine. Well, I've got a cup of coffee and I'm halfway through as well. Oh, 
Right. Unfortunately for you, we're going to paint this guy today. Oh. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Hmm. The next question is... <laughs> How am I going to paint it? Yellow. <laughs> <laughs> so, my two of my kids were over this week from Western Australia. And I got to see my son for dinner on Monday night. And then my daughter and her fiancé came and stayed uh, Tuesday to Friday. So they went home yesterday, last night. At, um, at dinner I was telling the story about the Tyranids. About how after I got sick, I um, sort of rehabilitated my love of the, the hobby by painting a Tyranid army. And of course... This Tyranid army's got, I don't know, 300 plus figures in it. And I painted them as European wasps, basically, yellow and black. Yeah, I've seen a couple of images of them. They're rather striking yeah. and effective. They're ex extremely effective because they're natural colours and they're natural warning colours. And so it triggers something in our brain which says, um, these are not to be mucked about with. Um, I once had a friend, I put him on the table, um, we were playing Warlords of Erewhon actually, and um, put him on the table and he said, um, that's fairly intimidating. So it definitely works. But anyhow, um, roll forward three or four years and I got the infinity bug and I started with Yu Ching. Now, Yu Ching's traditional colours are green and yellow. Mm-hmm. Well, yellow with hints of green. And um, the first time I took one of those figures out to show it to Joe to see what she thought of it, she looked at me and she said, it's fucking yellow. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> that's how she feels about yellow. <laughs> so... I don't know how your week's been, but this is the sum total of my progress this week. Well, it's a nice move, the uh, primer and undercoat, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and that was actually done last Saturday. <laughs> so, it's been one of those weeks. Well, it's not often you have the kids over. Uh, two and a half years since I've seen them. Longer since... Uh, longer since I've seen any. It is... It's more... Way more than three years since I've seen Eddie. So, it was a... It was a very welcome thing. Dwelling on the well, without dwelling on any of it at all. Moving on. Yeah, no, don't really have anything to it. Intelligently add to that conversation. Aside from getting old, sucks. <laughs> So I'm, you'll notice that I'm not painting this pitch black. No, it's not. It's sort of a very, 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 very dark blue. In fact, but it's a very not. dark grey. There may be blue in it. I don't know what the camera is doing to the colour necessarily. What's it look like? 
Yeah, look, you're right. It actually does look blue now that I look across at it. Hmm. Well, that's just the light going on yeah. straight through, I suppose. But yeah. Hmm. Just to add to the entertainment, Joe started with the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit early on a Saturday to be starting with a vacuum cleaner. That's the best time to do it if you hate your neighbours. <laughs> well, second best time. The actual best time is a Sunday. Yeah. Sunday morning just as noise restrictions lift. Especially if they've mm -hmm. had a party on the Saturday night. Yeah, I'm not afraid to admit that just looking at that thing on the screen does intimidate me a little. It's, um... But it's also sobering me up fantastically. <laughs> All this adrenaline. <laughs> <laughs> Fight or flight. Yeah, except I'm wired to the computer and my bum's in the seat and I can't really run. And... Yeah. <laughs> it's not easy hanging on to this, i got to tell you. No, I was going to say, it looks like you need one of those uh, bigger grips. Yeah. Big handle. There's eyes all over the place too. It's a spider. It's supposed to. Yeah, I don't know that I've ever seen a spider that's got eyes on the side of its head as well as on the front. Aren't they normally just clustered on the front? Uh, He's weird, Dan. No. It's very cruel and makes Matty go and search photos of the internet of spiders. I thought that they had two primary ones at the front and six on the side. Not yeah. necessarily the same side, but kind of divided evenly. Yeah, you might be right. So here's my spider story. Hmm. Of this week. <laughs> of this week, right. Of this week. This is going to be good. Well, I mentioned before the hand-sized huntsman that likes to hang out in my downstairs toilet. Yeah. The convenient one for me. Yeah. Well, you're absolutely right. It's female. Mm -hmm. I know this because it ate its mate and left it hanging there on the, uh, on the towel. Right. On the sink, in the toilet. Right. And mind you, the mate was pretty bloody big too. Yeah. Well, well the ex-mate. The ex-mate. It's good to know that somebody got some action during the week. Well, it took me about 20 hours to work out the courage to unhook it with the bloody... <laughs> <laughs> right. A long-handled broom yeah. and drop it in the dunny and flush it. Right. Because it was sitting there, the live one, on the wall, yep. just looking at the thing. I'm like, oh, God, I don't really need this. So, yeah, while there's one, le one less giant huntsman spider hanging around, I don't know where the other one's got to. And so it's somewhere. Somewhere. Ready to scare the piss out of me. <laughs> Which ordinarily wouldn't be a problem because it's usually in the toilet. Mm -hmm. Something about me doesn't want to urinate in front of a giant spider that terrifies me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Incidentally, they do it call a real it stage of... fright. Mm. Just going to say it put a real damper on my uh, hobbying that particular day. Yeah, I can imagine. At least you yeah. didn't have to take to a crock with a frying pan. Yeah, I was talking about that last night. 
one of the bounces. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'm not a big fella by any means, but was even smaller as a teen and has a photo of him standing inside the open jaws of a massive crocodile skull. Right. That this thing would have been six or seven meters. Yeah. Prehistoric ones mm -hmm. when they were still bigger. Yeah, when the environment could support them being bigger than they are now. Mm. When there was more oxygen to burn, things were bigger, lived faster. And fires were just that more entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> I think I actually prefer it black. Makes black. the detail yeah, it makes the details harder to see. I'm <laughs> 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 getting a cramp. Oh, I imagine it would with a tiny little stick like that that you swirl on that big hunk of metal around on. Yeah. What does it weigh? 150 grams, probably? I don't know, but it, all the weight's at one end. Shipping weight, 90 grams. There you go. That's a pretty reasonable hunk of metal. Yeah, the, I mean, the, the problem that I've got is just that 20 grams is at one end and... It's all off balance. It's all off balance. And I'm attempting to, to stop a three millimeter nail from spinning. So, should glue it to something else. I'd always thought those big, fancy Citadel paint handles were a little bit overblown, but they're mm. perfect for something like this. Yeah. Well, they are overblown. I have a couple of them. Yeah. You just make your own, though. I did. 3D printed a bunch. <laughs> exactly. And then I decided that I'd try the Citadel ones to see if they were any better than the crabby 3D printed ones I'd painted, and the answer was no, not really. For me, they get in the way. Surprise. Well, they would painting 15 mil. Yeah. Or even 28s, I suppose. Um, what are you painting 20, 28 that they're not getting in the way big tyrannid griblies don't fit in them mm. hello Clay how are you yeah, good yourself oh, not too bad good morning Morning. What did you do with your visitors? Um, they, um, nothing. <laughs> they are still. Um, we moved upstairs into Arlo's bed. Rach wasn't having a comfy sleep on the floor. Well, what a surprise! Oh so, yes, yeah, so I got my office back, so I've been painting this morning. Nice. How'd you go yesterday afternoon? Did you get some stuff done? Me? Yeah. 
on um, the scenery. Yeah. Yeah, I did, actually. I got um, 90, 95% of the rocks in. Ah, cool. And I put uh, all the sand down to to give it the, you know, the ground. Yeah, cool. So. It, um, it reminds me a little bit of the big drywall at Motorland Aragon. It's probably a place you guys have never heard of. I have heard of it. <laughs> it's a yeah, Spanish racing track, and they put a drywall in, and you should see it. It is monumental. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's coming along. I should have... Well, I'll have all the rocks done soon, and then mm -hmm. I will hit it with PVA and then that might take a while to dry, but after that it'll be to the um, bent sprayer. Blast the whole thing. Yeah, brilliant. I'm looking forward to seeing it. So I set the table up again last night, so I've got Four armies out, staged, taking oh, no. the first couple of test photos. So there'll be a couple of hours' work done today to get close in shots and different sort of panorama shots. And then I won't have any excuses anymore, then I'll have to start working on the examples. <laughs> Just done everything else. Yeah. It's my version of procrastination. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to let me know what sort of photo layouts you want for this. Uh, yeah, like, uh, I'm quite happy for you to take photos of whatever you think is cool, whatever you think looks cool, and we can go from there. I don't really have any preset ideas. Okay, yeah, cool. It's just the the individual shots of the units on the white background. I need those for the the army composition images that'll go in the back of the book. Yeah. Now, do you want the ones I've previously sent you? Are they you're going to use some of those, any of those? Uh, I, I don't know that they're the right units. Some of them are? Yeah, okay. Oh, well, hang on a second. Um, you've got predefined packs, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay, because I, I just grabbed, when you said two skirmishes, two sword and this and that, I did grab those ones you've got, guard of the gate. Right. Um, but if you've got predefined packs that you want in the... Yeah, I'll send you the list. Okay, send me the list, yeah. yeah. What did you say it was, Matty? 80 grams? 90. Oh. 90 grams plus a damn decent case of cramp. I want the bubbles. Although we could call it Michael. How are you with spiders, Clee? What's that? How, How am are I you with... with spiders? I'm all right. I can kill them. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, I don't mind them. So this won't be freaking you out then. Um. No, 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 no. 
Looks cool. Wait till I wave it at Joe later. <laughs> That'll be fun. Sheer arachnophobic. Yeah. She doesn't like them at all. Yeah, my mum is highly arachnophobic. Right. Uh, Maddie's in the category of not keen, aren't you, Maddie? Um, I think that's putting it mildly. Right. <laughs> Oh, I'm at the bottom of my Black Templar. Is that your contrast paints? Yeah. And Citadel just released a few, a couple of new ones, I noticed. Hang on a second. Yeah. Have you seen him, Maddie? No, I had no idea, actually. Right. Anything interesting? Yeah, there was one. It's a, a sky blue, light blue. Um, not like the ethermatic blue, a, a more traditional blue. Um, that looked very good. Hmm. Um. I can't remember what the other colour I saw was. That's distressing. You know, old timer's disease. Old timer's disease. <laughs> yeah. Right, so we probably have to do the goblins themselves while this actually dries. Because I need to dry to put the wash over it. You know what? I'll bang it in the dehydrator. Uh, oh, fancy pants. <laughs> Why? Because I can. I need a dehydrator for this stuff. Yeah. That'd be a big dehydrator. I don't even have a heater. It's Queensland. Why would you need one? Because exactly. it gets bloody cold up here. <laughs> <laughs> For everybody else in the world, that bloody cold involves being something under 60 Fahrenheit. <laughs> Pretty much. Still cold. Yeah, it's all relative. I could see my breath this morning. That's how cold it was. Right. Yeah, I could see it too when I went and got a coffee. Yeah, I could see mine, but I think it might have had to do with the garlic. <laughs> What is that colour? That's the colour I want. Right. Some pale flesh. About. Did you guys get an email from War and Peace yesterday? Mm, I did. I nearly went and bought some of their stuff that was on sale and I realised I had way too many miniatures already. <laughs> Stopped. So, I failed that resistance roll. <laughs> so... Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen... There's the, Warlords put out this uh, Napoleonic naval game a couple of years ago called Black Seas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've seen one of your boats from that. Yeah. 
Um, a couple of weeks ago, they did a sale and they had a box of French 74 gun ships, which was slightly less than half price, I think. And I went, ooh, I'll have one of those. Turns out it was the last one they had. And yesterday, the email pops in and they've got a f Spanish first rate for 10 bucks. It's an $80 miniature. Uh, 80, yeah. 80, 80 their price, so... Yeah, I don't know what that is in in terms of wall of direct retail, but yeah, for ten bucks. So I went, mm, you know what? Even with the seven fifty flat postage, one of these for seventeen dollars fifty, I'll have that. Ka ching. <laughs> there was a few things in there I was tempted with, but I was like, ah, oh, yeah, just going to go into a box for years, so. <laughs> Have I kept you up to date on the um, the air paint saga? No. They so, were going to replace them, was the last I heard. Yeah. <clears throat> and they didn't. Oh. I sent a... I sent... After they said, I oh, will replace them, I sent another one saying, look, I got this purple as a replacement because you sent me the money to replace the purple. And... I've tried it in the, the airbrush, and it works perfectly. <clears throat> so there's nothing wrong with my airbrush setup. There's nothing wrong with my compressor setup. It is definitely the paints that are the problem. Only the guy at the other end must have a heck of a lot to do because he, he uh, must have sped read that email and decided that I was all sorted out. Oh, so I went back to them earlier in the week and I said, you know, just just following up on this, just figuring out, you know, where we are and what's going on. And he's gone, oh, uh, I'm really sorry. This is my fault. Um, I misinterpreted the previous email. Um, can Just confirm which set it is again and I'll send you a refund. So I um, I did that. And I think within three hours, I had the money. Unfortunately, since then, the exchange rate's taken an absolute pounding. So it, it, uh, at the end of the day, after I bought the, the new set from War and Peace and paid shipping and, and all that kind of stuff, I think I'm out about 200 bucks because of oh. the exchange rate change. But as I said to Maddie earlier in the week, being out 200 is a heck of a lot better than being out 657.50. And how much does the set cost? They're 650 for the set at War and Peace, and they charge 750 postage, so... The, the oh. set's 375 US, which is what they sent me. Which is not 650 Australian anymore. Oh, man. So, I mean, kudos to them because it wasn't their fault. They didn't ruin the paint. Yeah, not their fault. It's just it's their fault. Bummer, that's all. Yeah. So the fact that they've stepped up to the plate and actually sent me money, I think, is brilliant. Like, can't can't speak highly enough of their willingness as a company to make sure that their customers are satisfied with their product and support. You know, from from that perspective, absolutely no fault. The fact that their support teams <laughs> under the pump that they are may well have something to do with the fact that people are struggling with their speed paint product. Because Maddie and I have a number of conversations in the last couple of weeks about reactivation of speed paints, haven't we? Oh, really? True. Yeah. I found that they do settle down if you leave them to dry for a couple of days. Yeah. 
But that's not really speed here. No. Yes. That's the hurry up and wait paint. <laughs> Some of them are a little bit better than others in regards to that too. Yeah. But I mean, you've been knocking units out still pretty quickly. Yeah, but they're only... Mm, they're not all speed paint here. No. <laughs> only a relatively small amount of speed paint has been going into those. Yeah. Kind of a shame. I was really hoping I'd be using that set a lot more. Hmm. The skin tone set, on the other hand. Oh, yeah, getting a bit of use of that. You used yours yet, Clee? Nah. I'm, uh... The things I'm painting at the moment have blue skin, so... <laughs> Not much use for that set. <laughs> hmm. I'd say, why are you painting Seraphon? <laughs> I'm sure it's something else. Uh, River Trolls and... River oh, Trolls. Well, actually, the ones with the blue skin are Sky Trolls. Right. I was about to ask when you got yourself a whole stack of Beastmen. When am I going to, or when I did? When you did. Yes, I did. I got some... I got two stacks of Beastmen. Oh, see, now you two are talking about totally different things with the same name. Smitty's talking about Beastmen from Demon World, and you're talking about Beastmen from 40... Uh, from Fantasy, Fantasy, yeah. Fantasy, yeah. It's a 28mm Beastmen. Yes, I am talking. Very much 28 mil beastman. Mm. I'm very, very, very pleased with that one purchase. Actually, two purchases. Those purchases? Yes, those purchases. Uh, you're talking about mountains of plastic and metal to paint. Uh, no, actually, the beastman army's 90% painted. Oh, that's the one you well, said good was 90%. Quality. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. So I'm pretty stoked with that. It just sits there. It looks pretty nice. I've got it just a... <laughs> Need a bigger cabinet. I do. About 30... Oh, hang on. A bit more now. About 50 beastmen to paint. Yeah. You see, I didn't finish that little story about War and Peace games. Because... No, so you didn't get away with just one ship and seven dollars fifty postage. Oh no, I, I absolutely did. That that oh. that purchase was seventeen dollars fifty. Oh, the nice. speed paint, uh, the the air paint purchase was like, I wonder because they said that the next release in the Warlords Epic Scale Napoleonic was going to be June. I wonder if they've released the Prussians. Oh look, they have. Click. I saw that, that they had released the Prussians. <laughs> yeah, but I ordered this on Wednesday, <laughs> Wednesday night. This was before the email went out saying that, hey, it's here. They'd already put it up on the website. So it was like, that was a <clears throat> $900 purchase. Nice. Which is... Oh, which is fine when you consider that well more than half of that was using money that Army Painter had sent me as a, a um, what do you call that? Is it a make good? I guess it's a make good. So, yeah. ka -ching. Oh, took the cats to the vet Thursday night. Yeah. Cats are quite well in and of themselves, except they've got the early signs, early uh, first signs of gum disease. So they needed their teeth cleaned and scaled. Which <clears throat> is a general anaesthetic because it's a cat. Yep. So 550 bucks each at some point in the next couple of months. 
Yeah, I've been going through all that with Beanie. Mm. It fucked her up for months having it. I mean, she was quite ill for months after that. Yeah, really. <laughs> yep. She had two general anaesthetics to clean her teeth and remove a couple and stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. And yeah. she was rooted Remo- for months. Yeah, removing's no fun at all. No. For a cat. So, yeah, I've got a reserve under me because I decided that going to America without a reserve was a really silly idea. Just in case something goes horribly wrong and I get stuck in a hotel for two weeks or, you know, some stupid shit like that. Yeah. When are you off? Might be soon. End of July. So, what's the date today? It's the 25th. Five weeks or something. So, five weeks, yeah. How exciting. Uh, you say exciting. Um, I'm more than a little bit terrified. Oh man, that'll be good. Yeah, look, I think it will be, but there's the apprehension. Like, there's the stress of getting the rule book done between now and then. Yeah. And then there's the actually getting on a plane and, well, see, it's three different planes between here and there. And... You know, being cooped up in a, an aluminium cylinder for six and a half hours at a stretch with people coughing COVID all over me. Joys. I'm trying to figure out what... I'm, I'm at a loss as to what colour to paint these guys. Are they goblins? Yeah. Green! <laughs> <laughs> Let, let me know. <laughs> I get that in. Think about that. <laughs> there are no green goblins here. Well, I suppose you could always fall back on yellow. <laughs> Damn you, that's a great suggestion. <laughs> grey pants, yellow tops, or grey tops, yellow pants? I think I might go grey tops, yellow pants. How about yeah. that? You're in soaked. Absolutely. Well, they are on the top of a macrothelia, so... Mm-hmm. I should warn you that I am going to paint a rather large orc and goblin army green. For Demon World? <laughs> no, for... um. Warmaster. <laughs> oh, for Warmaster, it's perfectly acceptable. Absolutely perfectly acceptable. Games Workshop have set the standard that their their um, goblinoids are green. I have no issue with that whatsoever. I just went, the demon worlds are not. It'd give them their own style. Yeah. Differentiation. And I'm really struggling. Swinging around nearly 100 grams on a 3 mil pen. Yeah, that'll do it to your hands. It's, yeah, yeah, my hands have yeah, not... Your hands aren't the best. <laughs> I gotta say, watching you jitter it all over the screen was uh, giving me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> 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 Watching this thing writhe and wriggle and flick and spin and... Yep. It's good that we can laugh about it. Yeah. It's good that I can laugh about it. I'm not afraid of making fun of myself. I've noticed. If you can't make fun of yourself, you can't make fun of anyone else in good conscience. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Is that two goblins joined at the hip? It is. (laughs) This one's... This one's got his hand firmly placed on the top of this one's head, 
and is squishing him. He's either squishing him into the back of the spider or he's attempting to push him off. I can't figure out which. And I'm so, 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 so looking forward to the artwork that Don's doing for this rule book. I reckon it'll be good. Oh, I've seen the um, concept sketches. I think it's going to be just a little bit better than good. I think it's going to be spectacular. So it's, it's basically a, a running series of gags over about 15 double page spreads. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. So, said contractor is here now. He just hasn't fired his machine up yet. Oh, your house? Yeah. What do I? Got somebody um, taking the top out of the driveway. So top three inches out of the driveway. So we've got um, gravel coming later. Yep. The bin's already sitting there waiting for the dirt to go in it. You know, it's a, it's a thing. Joe's been on an organisational bent all week. Oh. So I'm prepared to have myself organised later. Here we are again, cleaning out a cap. Oh, Clee, mm. I got some squats. Squats? Squats. E epic squats? No. Or 40k squats? Well, technically, Necromunda squats, but... Oh. And the squats are in Necromunda now? Yep. My gosh, that's cool. Yeah. They're not called squats. They're called... Iron Base head, schools? iron head, oh. prospectors or miners or something like that. But yeah, they yeah, are the copyright stuff. They are forty k dwarves. Wow. So they're gonna. Well, they were always gonna make a comeback, I suppose. I don't know that it, anybody <laughs> believed that they were. I mean, it's what twenty five yeah. years. I know, but they're the, the king of rehashing old products, and when they've run out of ideas and copyright, mm -hmm. suddenly the dwarves come back to space. <laughs> <laughs> so they're on their way. That's cool. Combat company have shipped Very those. Cool. That pre-order pre went up last weekend, and in my infantile obsession with making sure that I've got a representative set of everything from Necromunda. I got that plus the latest book. Oh. On the other hand, I didn't buy the vehicle because they've got this really big vehicle, which I think the, the driving end is 100 bucks and the trailer is 80 bucks, And I'm like... Seems a bit strange for um, Necromunda, though. The vehicle? Yeah. Well, that's because we're playing in the ash wastes now, not in the, the hive anymore. So we're actually oh, outside the hive. Yes. I realise. That's, that's right. They did do that, didn't they? Yep. <laughs> you guys let me know if you can hear that machinery noise. I can't. If if you are able to hear that machinery noise, just let me know. 
doesn't hear anything. No, he's only just fired it up. He's pulling it off the trailer at the moment. Um, warning beeper is fully operational. Yeah, I heard a little bit of that while you were talking, but mm. not while you're not. <laughs> well, the key then is to, for me to not talk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe the world would prefer that anyway. <laughs> Certainly. There's a group of people that have stopped listening, that's for sure. So what are you painting, Matty? I uh, mm, uh, primed and reprimed uh, some other stuff. Uh, unit of Thane Wolf men. Yep. And some critical mass stuff. But <gasps> I haven't started anything aside from priming. <laughs> right. Mm, critical mass. Hmm. Critical mass. I need to come up with something better than what I had before. Uh, why? Because I didn't like what I had before. Oh, so okay. I so you dropped them back to bear. Yeah, okay. And primed. Um, what happened with the fellow you lost down the sink? Oh, he went down the sink. Uh, but I got on to Paul fairly yeah. quickly after you gave me that email address which you know i had but didn't think about mm. and within you know an hour and a half between us he we'd figured out which miniature it was and he dropped one in the box that was being prepared for shipment which went out like the next day or the day after wow that's brilliant yeah so i've got a a whole unit again instead of one that's a little short <laughs> <laughs> Many thanks to Paul for that. Yeah, good stuff. It was a, 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 a funny story in yesterday's catch up uh, about Demon World because um, I'm not sure you guys were aware that uh, there was an Earth Dawn Kickstarter just finished. Um, they sold a buttload of miniatures on the back of. Um, them being prepared and printed and painted and whatever. Um, and we, at, at some point in the last few months, we decided that we were going to get RPE themselves to print the masters rather than me printing them here and shipping them to England because of the expense. Um, and they decided that they wanted a 3D printer anyway. So they ended up getting the same 3D printer that I've got which meant that all of the files that I put together to print all of this stuff, I just um, put it on our um, file share service and they've downloaded it. And so he's had this printer running now for two weeks and hasn't had a single failure. And if there was this conversation about this, 3D printing stuff's really easy. I don't know why anybody complains about it. We're just laughing about the distilled 18 months worth of failure going <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks of worth of success. <laughs> oh. it's like, yeah. yeah. Well, that's excellent, though, that they're getting good results. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Does show you how much that your hard work pays off. Yeah. I think. I think they've realised that that there is a degree of. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Experience. 
that's gone into that. Yeah. Metal. But yeah, it's it's super that they're getting good reliable results. So Yeah, that's excellent, isn't it? Yeah. They're asking the question about how long you could leave the 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 print hanging from the bill plate after the print's completed. And I basically said indefinitely. <laughs> Until it's cured, yeah? Well, yeah, it, because it's sitting inside that the UV-proof container. Yeah, it won't cure. It, just... it won't cure, just sitting there. Yeah. So, I said, the problem's not leaving it on the bill plate. The problem's leaving it in the alcohol. Ask me how I know. <laughs> <laughs> so come out the next day and... Where's the oh. print? <laughs> oh god! Oh shit! <laughs> the um the clear plastic bases were the worst for that. If you left them in it overnight, they they went um dissolvy and cracky and crazy paving and all sorts of stuff. So I right. wrecked more than a few of those by leaving them in the alcohol. I need a different colour for the handle. Right. A little bit of agros dunes. Can't believe they've been mucking about with these goblins for half an hour. That's ridiculous. So, how bummed was Arlo? Oh, uh, a little bit bummed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why are you in my room? Yeah, I, I did hear a bit of that. I, <laughs> I wasn't there, I was downstairs, but I did hear something like that. <laughs> yeah, right. Was there a conversation along the lines of suck it up, princess? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, kids. All right. Nice to have my office back. Yeah. Nice to not have to cuddle a vacuum cleaner. Yep. I don't know, Matty. I think it's even more creepy. Ooh. Gonna go wash liquid nails off my hands. <laughs> Good luck with that. What are you using? Turpentine? Uh, iso alcohol. No, it's a probable alcohol. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah.
Large brush. Some agrex. Going through this bottle in a heck of a hurry too. So what's coming in the box that they've just shipped? Maddie? What, sorry? What's coming in the box that they've just shipped? Um, the only thing I've got outstanding is is those bases from you actually oh, okay yeah the um the jubilee order which was dark elves showed up uh oh, that was the dark the, elves yeah one of just about everything aside from the dragons it feels like right I mean, it, that's a hefty order. Like going on, you know, what you specified for yeah. the bases, that's a hefty order. Yeah, well, that also is the other half of the Thane that yeah, showed right. up in, in the one before that as yeah. well. But the uh, the Dark Elves aren't uh, in U18 packets for the most part. <laughs> So it's all packets of 12s and 24s. and Yeah, it's a bit of a mess. Well, at least the number's divisible by 12. Yeah. So, you know, you can get, well, three, I should say. Some of them come in packets of six. Yeah. But, yeah, the, yeah they showed up earlier this week. Was it? Um, must have been Wednesday. Right. Hence the conversation about bases. Yeah, I was holding on so that I didn't. Um, yeah. Have you running to the the post office every? Well, two weeks. <laughs> I know how much you love leaving the house. Oh God. Yeah, because I snuck out to do the post office yesterday. And, you know, apparently I'm not good in the wider world anymore. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people are going that way. Mm. Yeah, I was going to say, it gets like that when you work from home all the time. Yeah, huh? It, uh... You see how the, the agrex on the grey has really darkened it down. Mm. That's what I'd use on the bases for the the dwarves. Yeah. Just paint them grey. And then uh, Agrax. And then an Agrax, yeah. Gives them that dirt look in between all the rocks and re-highlight the rocks. Yep. That guy's going to have to go back in the dehydrator now. So, what colour tongues do river trolls have?
Depends on whose butt they're kissing, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know. That's an interesting question. So these guys have got to get secret sourced, and they've got to go in the dehydrator. Then what do I do? Oh no. <laughs> Panic attack. Now it would fill. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, you got other spiders to assemble. Oh, that's right. I can get out the gargantoid and start putting that together. <laughs> uh, yes, I do want to torture myself. <laughs> yeah, we were discussing this last week. That thing's got to go on a 12 by 12. Isn't going to fit on an 8 by 8. Pretty damn big. And I think it's taller than it is long. That's pretty big. It is. What's the shipping weight of that, Manny? I think it's 250 grams from memory. Yeah. A quarter kilo of spidery. Spiderness. Where is that? Two hundred forty-five. Mm, yeah, nine and a quarter kilo. Now, if you get a quarter of a kilo of ham, it takes you about a week to eat it in sandwiches. <laughs> Try one meal. <laughs> Are you having these shaved or <laughs> are you having ham sandwiches? <laughs> shaved ham sandwiches? Oh. Never mind the fact that it's got about a dozen crew. Right, so a full unit on it. Two spear teams, two archers, one commander. So there's there's two two guys with a big spear. One guy. Two more guys with a big spear. Two archers. So what's that? That's four. Seven. Five, six, seven, yeah. Epic. A 13 part spider. <laughs> so there's the the four, four walls and the floor of the tower. Uh, top. So there's three parts of the main. Yeah, and there's uh, ten legs. Well, eight legs and two palps. Actually, it fits together better than the macrothelia. That that join around there is quite quite a bit better. Alrighty, I think this one's going to have to rest on the ground, Matty. What do you reckon? Probably. I mean, the tower weigh, would weigh how much? It'd pop anything you did to the legs. Yeah. I just think for longevity purposes that having the body lying on the ground means that there's no strain on the legs. Unless you put a little clear base under it in the middle of the body or something. Yeah. I've got got these things. But then we well, actually need two, I reckon. Yeah. I've got those old um, Games Workshop flying stands if you want one of those. Uh, yeah, I've got a ton of those. 
Yeah. Well, we just cut one of those to the right height. Question is, where's well, where's the balance point? Well, it's going to be right underneath the tower, isn't it? At least the tower sits kind of in the middle. It's not at one end. Let's have a look at it. Helpfully, they numbered the undersides of the floor. Typical ramshackle goblin construction. <laughs> yeah. It, um, it's going to need a fair bit of adjustment to get it to go together nicely, that's for sure. Either a lot of adjustment or a lot of filling, or both. It doesn't really look like it's meant to sit flush at the edges in the painted example. Hmm. Oh, there's a guy poking his head up through the trapdoor, so that's eight. <laughs> it just... See, it doesn't... It doesn't come together nicely. Hmm. Yeah, this could take a while. That's right. It didn't take much to get that to go together better. Mm, true enough. Do much prefer metal kits over plastic ones. Yeah. My fear is, is this is a fresh blade. I really don't want to slip. Uh, <laughs> oh, man, I've always got cuts on my hands when I put a fresh blade in. Yep. It's, it, and and I'm quite happy, you know, with those, those little thin cuts. They're all okay. But, you know, it's that when you put a fresh blade on and you get that slightly deeper cut. Yeah, because it can cut all the way through in yeah, one shot. One, <laughs> one go, and it's just like, oh, that is going to hurt for days.
Righto, so that's one and four. Let's have a look at one and two. Yeah, see this is particularly egregious. Rather good word, egregious. Yeah. It's, for anybody watching this, this must be boring as fuck. <laughs> yeah, I've moved back to my role. <laughs> okay. mm, bored now. <laughs> Make video of man looking at lead. <laughs> With his weight in gold. Absolutely. Gold is just as easy to work, too. So, what I want to know is how the hell is it 18 degrees up in Taunton? And I'm how? Nine here. <laughs> Ocean. It's not 18 degrees where I am. <laughs> so it was actually really mild here overnight. It's 12 now. Well, wow, that's pretty good. Mm. I don't know what it was like overnight. I was sitting in a nice warm pokies room. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> you were either inside warm or you were passed out warm. It was just to catch up with the boys? Uh, one of them. Right, the boy. A boy. A boy. <laughs> yeah, there's connotations there. Just moving on. Oh, I think it's weird that we never met each other growing up. I mean, he's lived two streets over his entire life. Right. We grew up, you know, same age, basically. Like, hmm, how have we never met before? Hmm. Hmm. So he calls up at. 8.30. Mm. So he calls up about 8.30 last night and says, I've just put 20 bucks of petrol in the car. It's enough to get us to the pub so I can put a bet on. Will you be my wingman? <laughs> because he's got, you know, impulse control as good as yours, Stan. Right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway... Over the course of several pints and some tequila and a couple of jugs, uh, fed 150 bucks into pokey machines at the start of the night. Well, started with 150 and walked out with, I don't know, a bit more than that. Really? So it's a positive night. There was a $700 payout on one of them. <laughs> I think I got all my seed money back from 100 or 150 more. I haven't looked in my wallet much, but right. pretty sure it's all there, plus some. Which is good because we're supposed to be doing it all over again on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Just to make sure that you get rid of it all. 
Yeah. Nine percent return. Every time I walk into those places, I just the little voice in my head says nine percent return. Well, there was a bird in there who took twelve hundred on Kino and pulled about eight thousand out of the machines over the same time that we were there. Right. Well, when you figure that, that means that in order for that to happen, collectively, people have put a hundred grand in. It wasn't that busy, though. I mean, no, but maybe. this is over the course uh, yeah. of yeah, you know, a a specific period. So there would have been people in there at lunchtime, going, oh, you know, I'm fifty bucks down. Yada yada yada. Yeah, I wonder if they adjust the win ratios for like a Friday night or a Saturday night, and then drop them for the the lunchtime crowd that are just there for making up the numbers. It's a very, very interesting set of sub... Um, yes. Wouldn't surprise me. I think they do that with Pachinko. They certainly do it with petrol. <laughs> two bucks eighteen a litre last night. Mm hmm. Paid two dollars thirty. Oh man, you didn't fill Bilbo at two dollars thirty. Um, I didn't, but I have been. <laughs> That's yeah. What is that? Sixty liter tank. Hundred and twenty. <laughs> oh, long range tank. <laughs> Spend two hundred and eighty dollars on fuel. Ouch. But it does last. Mm -hmm. me a long time a because long I don't time. go anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Until some clever dick comes along and siphons it on you. <laughs> yeah. I've done four trips to the airport in a week. They're $11 each. That's not even counting fuel. That's just your... That's yeah. just D-tag. Yeah. Don't you have public transport to get to the airport down there? Uh, yeah, righto. If you say so. Get on the damn bus and away you go. Never At least um, again. The bus, the bus from the city to the airport's about eighty bucks, I think. Really? The um, the one in Brisbane's good train. Yeah, and that's only twenty bucks. Yeah, it's it's wicked. Yeah, yeah you. You can't get to the Melbourne Airport via public transport. No, though it's, it's such a scam that one. Yep, has been for a, quite a long time. It used to cost me twenty bucks to go to the airport and back in tolls. Yeah, Brisbane. You wouldn't have to cross the gateway, would you? No, that was um, that was through that was it Centenary Tunnel or something. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, yeah. That's... So I was going from Kenmore, so go through the tunnel and then out the airport way or whatever it's called. Fuck Kenmore, it'd be cold this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, ice on the river. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> when I played um, junior footy, <laughs> Kenmore was always the place I never wanted to go to. Because, <laughs> you know, winter sport, but it was always freezing when we played at Kenmore. Yeah, it, that's that oval right next to the freeway, isn't it? Yeah, sports ground there. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, Arlo used to play soccer, and that oval is 
so cold. Yeah, it's fucking yeah. bad. It's it's just like this ice box mm. just collects all the cold air from the whole suburb and puts it in that bloody oval. There's a reason why every single person who lives in Kenmore has a, a wood fire or a chimney. Yeah, and a puffer. <laughs> we translate to, that to electric blanket, will we? <laughs> Good fun. I wonder what happened to that electric lap blanket I had. Because that would be really good right about now. My <laughs> legs are killing me. Cold in the garage. Yep. That's the other benefit of the dehydrator. The side exhaust blows out onto my legs. Excellent. This is this is going to be tedious, I have to say. Putting so that might, thing together. Yeah, I might set it aside for now and come back to it later. Grab the other spider back out. And... Served you right for listening to me in the first place. Well, you know. Time for the dry rush. And then we're going to test my freehanding skills. It's just going to be great because I'm going to be hanging onto this 100 grams of thing on a stick, shaking like crazy. Wouldn't it be easier just to not pick it up and leave it sitting there while yeah, you do it? That is a distinct possibility. Um, I bought some Gundam markers to do some freehand. Yeah. Well, not freehand to do some banners because I didn't really want to do them in freehand. Yeah. So, all those dwarf guys, all the dwarf banners. Nice. Yeah, I was pretty impressed with the pens, actually. Where did you get those? Ah, uh, just Mighty Ape or something like that. Yeah, right. -o. They are fairly easy to get hold of. Yeah, they're pretty popular. There's two different types of real touch and Gundam markers or something. Mm. Is that a brand? Uh, it's a brand of GSI Creos. Can you chuck me a link, Matty? Please? Uh, the place I bought them from no longer sells them because they don't sell anything Gundam related anymore. Oh, okay. A frontline got them? I imagine they would, actually. But I have a quick look. Mm-hmm. There we go. Spiffy. Real touch set one, thirty five bucks. Real touch set two, thirty five bucks. Singles are about ten, it looks like. Right. Um there's that impulse thing again. And then there's yeah. the metallic versions and the fine point ones. And... Could 
ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. I've got to get my car service next week, so... I'm going to get too ridiculous. Yeah, I just got two sets. Um, a real touch one that just had black, white, no, uh, black, brown, and a few other colours I needed. Mm. And one of the... Gundam ones that had, again, the basic colours... It has a metallic green, red, black. Again, another white. Just all the basic stuff you need. Yeah. I got a lot of mileage out of my metallic green one. Oh, did you? Hmm. I was surprised. I I just assumed it would be green and then uh, cracked it out and it's actually quite a good metallic green. It is. It covers quite well, too. Yeah. The other thing I treated myself last week was a, a new set of mechanical pencils. Oh, yeah. Nice. How well does that come out on the... It doesn't really, does it? That... Oh, you could only see it in a certain light. Certain light, yeah. Oh, don't put it on the edge, you muppet. Right. I wonder if I should have just gone for angles instead. What's it going to be on there? It's an hourglass. No, looks good then. 
the eyes half of I'm going to try and get a little bit sort of fancy and have it slightly more detailed than just a red blob. The shaking is appalling. <laughs> Try not to make you laugh to make it worse. Tension is palpable. You're not allowed to use jokes about palps while I'm painting spiders. <laughs> God, this has got to be nearly as exciting as the, me staring at those pieces of... I think you could say we're all pretty used to watching paint dry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, indeed. What do you do on a Saturday morning? I make people watch paint dry. Yeah, I live stream paint drying. Yep. Well, there's obviously a market for it. Of at least three. I told you the guy that's been doing some writing has been watching these during the week. Really? Oh yeah. With the sound off, I hope. No. <laughs> uh, not actually think he enjoys our irreverence and uh, lack of political correctness, Matty. Shout out to Grant. Hello.
Well, my top tip is to turn the YouTube auto subs on. Oh, yeah. Those automatically generated subtitles are unintentionally hilarious. <laughs> Oh, and the immortal words of Jeremy Clarkson, that's not gone well. <clears throat> Just gonna make it worse. Fuck. That's bad. That's really bad. What happened? Uh, Free handing accident. Ah, uh, yes, they happen. Does cover all sins. Makes you wonder why churches aren't painted black. <laughs> I think I'll just leave that one alone. <laughs> if I were doing what you were doing here, Dan, I yeah. probably would have started with um, like a white rectangle and then gone in with black to take out the bent in bits this is because you are far more sensible than i am i've also had about you know 15 minutes to think about it <laughs> <laughs> i know you wanted to show off your new mechanical pencil well gee it's not much of a mechanical pencil let's put it this way it was a three for deal. Incidentally, skip mm. Gundam Marker Mechanical Pencil. Not any good? Uh, it's 0 0.1 millimeter leads. Oh, what? Oh. Yeah. No, I just bust them it just, all yeah, the time. You do, you do. That's why I got the point sevens, so they have some hope of. That's why I do most of my writing nowadays with a two millimeter mechanical pencil. Mm. It's yeah. more like a crayon at that point. <laughs> <laughs> the mechanical crayon. You can get those. You can. They do make uh, colored leads for this thing. Yeah. It's just a pain in the ass to change it. If I do that, it's going to end up on the floor. You know, interestingly enough, the river trolls don't use rocks as weapons. Don't they? That's... Presumably they use rivers. 
Well, I thought they might have had a good access to rocks as weapons, being in the rivers. <laughs> it makes so, so much sense. Oh, no. Oh boy. Don't put it in the edge, you muppet. Do its eyeballs now. All eleven billion of them. Hmm. Mm. come back on that hourglass and I want to do a lighter red in the middle. Time, Matty. Uh, Thirteen minutes. Thirteen minutes. That's a minute and no. <laughs> <laughs> I want to give it black, black uh, feet. Joe came in before. She must have seen what I was painting because she left again. <laughs> <laughs> this one you should probably show off on the um, the Discord channel for Demon World as well. Yeah. Uh, you know something I don't? Oh, not really. Just thinking out loud. Right. <laughs> Coming soon to a convention near you. <laughs> yeah. So you won't find this in the Games Workshop. No, that's actually... You're 100% correct. They don't have one, do they? Like, you used to be able to I get spider what? riders. Gobbos. Yeah. What happened to them? They're gone, aren't they? Uh, yeah, to be honest, I don't know what's in the Age of Sigma Gobos, so...
Can't get him in Warmaster. Oh, here we go. Here's something that's a spider. What is? A Ragnarok spider, 50 pounds. Ragnarok spider. It's got a whole bunch of lizard men or something hanging off the back of it. Lizard men? I don't know. It's kind of hard for me to tell. They do. They They have a spider. They might be orcs or something. Uh, they have a spider looking thing in chaos in 40k oh yeah that crawler thing yeah okay their goblins not lizard man there you go and one of these examples has sort of got a tower on the back with one holding the spear <laughs> Yeah, that thing's suitably impressive and disgusting. Do some eyes. They have to be red, don't they? It's colour of evil. Black being the um, totality of evil. Yeah. I guess. Uh, that's probably not nearly as witty as I thought it was. Because, you know, black not being a real colour. <laughs> Just trying to come up with something funny for all those Ferrari owners. A Ferrari? Well, I did during the week. The scale one? Yeah. Slot car. Oh, cool. And I was umming and ahhing about it because I didn't really like the, the colour scheme in the pictures. Mm -hmm. and I turned up and looked at it and it's jaw droppingly very pretty. Like, like very, very pretty. So it's like, wow, your photos have not done that justice whatsoever. There you go. This will be it. This will be it. 
Do those eyes stick out enough, Matty? Yes. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> I think I might do a little bit more edge highlighting on these legs. Just another light dry brush. I am super frustrated by this hourglass it looks bloody awful the red's a good color can't see the uh the angle of it from me that picks it up a little bit. that come out now like does it look yeah yeah yep terrifying enough to me right a little bit of white on those out and then green them. Well, these trolls are close to done. Nice. Charmy, are they going in? These are uh, Orc and Goblin Warmaster. Ah, right. River trolls that have no river rocks. 
river trolls that have no river rocks. That's right. And river trolls that have no mud to play in. There's all sorts of shades of wrong, isn't there? Yeah. But I'm going to keep the basing consistent, so stuff it. <laughs> uh, so what do I need? I need a... A really... A... a, a Virulent green. Virulent green. <laughs> Thought you weren't going to go cartoony. <laughs> you know, this seems like a good idea, but I might end up painting back over it. So we'll see. I'm going to leave you there and go and get some breakfast. Good call. Just yeah. a bit done anyway, I think. Oh, the uh, base of him looks good there. Look at that thing. That's not too outrageous, is it? No. no. I think we're done. I think we're done. Mm -hmm. So there's basing to go. I've got to do the eyeballs on those guys plus pick out details. Uh, the spider is largely done. I think I will do a slight more dry brush to pick out the edges of these leg joints a bit more. But that's about it. And then it's putting it on a base. So getting a base out and getting... Um, getting that all polyfilled up and whatever so thanks guys see your company good stuff thank you for having us no worries and uh, see you next week if not sooner if not sooner cheers <laughs>